Twas a dark and stormy night. Lately all are in tales like this. Alas, there's one thing different about these. No, there's no demons, no bad will, no malice, just good old fashioned bad luck. Down south. Very south. The wind and the rain stung as the wee engine crossed the road. True, it's odd for the desert, but you never know in these kind of tales. As the engine drove through the night, pelted by rain after torrent of rain, the wind stinging at his boiler front, it only seemed like it couldn't get much worse. But the last you should know this plot twist is coming. It could. Up at the mines, we bit up a 3% grade. A caravan of coal wagons had broken loose. For some odd reason, due to this conveniently placed switch, we're lined right for the poor engine's path. Of course, the cars had no will, no soul, no minds. They were empty trucks. It wasn't until too late that the engine saw this and plummeted off the side. I uh, hate to be that guy. I really do. But where in the name of sense are you going with this story? Ah, that's the problem with young Lot. Never let the old farts finish their tales. Now, <laughs> he said old fart, quiet you! Alright, alright. Now, back to my tale. It remained quiet around here for about 40 more years. This is when I was young. Yes, it's been a An engine went missing one night. Now, it may seem routine, but... Not a single train was rooted in, nor out of this line. He vanished into thin air. Or so it would seem. About three nights after, a drunken man stumbled up into the shed, stating he'd seen a ghost locomotive of his arms. And with this engine's passing, that the young engine disappeared for good. Now, take of it what you may, lads. Great assault if you would. But I think there's something out here. A barrier of swords between the line that scrapped lifeless than what we are now. So take away from what you may, but enjoy your time on these rails, because you never know when it'll be your last. Dude, was that supposed to be a ghost story or just random motivation? Ah, <sighs> random motivation, but hey, for the episode scripting, it works pretty well, wouldn't you say? Eh, I gotta agree with him there, guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna leave you two to fuss. I got stuff to do. I'm out of here, fellas. Alright, later, Chief. See ya. Meanwhile, in a completely different plot line... This is impossible! Ghosts aren't real! <laughs> they can't be! I'm just losing my mind! What's left of it? No! Okay, <laughs> ten seconds, this'll all be over! Just a dream! It's gotta be a dream! This is impossible! I'm too young to die! <laughs> Wait a second, okay. Ten seconds, I'm gonna flick my headlights on, this'll all be over. Gotta be. Okay. Nine. Eight. Okay. Three. Two. One. Ah, don't kill me, please! I'm young, sweet, and innocent. I'm personally a character! easier than expected. Be gone if you shall. Okay, heating warning. I'm out of here. So what you're trying to tell me is you saw the doctor and the TARDIS disappear before your eyes. I'm telling you, man, I saw right before my buffer beams. Right there, the blue box, everything. It was the same weekend we figured out that the Statue of Liberty was something called a weeping angel. Whatever that is supposed to mean. But I'm telling you, that was some freaky stuff going on. <sighs> Have you been in the special stash of coal again? Come on now, buddy, just because I'm from up north doesn't mean I'm gonna lie to your face like that. Would be very brotherly of me, now would it? Huh? Huh? 
Okay, fine. I took a little dip at the stash last week. Figured as much. Wait a second. You guys hear that? Whoa there, Speedy Baconator. What's the rush? Ghost. Real. Bridge. Suck. Logic.exe. Failing. Aw, oh, heck. He's in the single line panic again, guys. <laughs> Sheesh, man. Calm down. If I didn't know better, it looks like you've seen a go <laughs> Don't joke about stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Hey, Alan. Did you guys have any latecomers by chance? No? We're the only ones that showed. Wait a second. You guys might want to see this. Ah! He found me! Okay, fine. I'll admit to my sins. I stole the train of Cheerwine last week. So that's where the dang thing went. Whoa, 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 whoa there, buddy. I'm not here to kill you. Where on earth did you get that? Um, internet? Ugh, <sighs> figures. Probably those noobs on YouTube who get the story wrong. Trying to gain views. <laughs> you know what I mean. Uh, what are you two talking about? Ah, nothing to worry about. So. Thirteen, you old troll. Ah, Craig, shut it. Just because you ain't seen me in 30 plus years. Yeah. How long do you have left here? Oh, you know. Ever cliched sunrise. Gotta go. Aw, oh, man. You just got back. I know, I know. But hey. We'll see if I can work on a way to come back sometime. You never know, anyways. Uh, question? Yeah, go ahead. So, what exactly happened and why and how are you here? Ah, good one. Long story short, I was caught in some sort of random flux in the space-time continuum and a whole bunch of other timey-wimey stuff. Timey-wimey? Doctor Who, dude. You should really look it up. <gasps> see? I wasn't crazy, man! I told ya! <laughs> Another Whovian. Good on you, lad. Anyways, after the wreck and whatnot, I was basically stuck here. And yeah, that sucked. <laughs> Trust me, not being able to do anything in solid form for about 30 to 40 years is not that fun. It's just kind of stinking way. I mean, seeing you know, technology change, people come and go, engines come and go. Kind of puts things in perspective, as all of you, I'm sure, have seen through your lives. But, nevertheless, the main thing being, um, in order to break the cycle, someone would have to go through the exact same thing I did. Well, Young Will, as you see, his log train to run off the side, and that initiated it. And Billy over here, well, <laughs> lad, you put up with my joking rather well. Yeah, easy for you to say. Ah, it's all in good fun. Lighten up some, wouldn't hurt a bit. So, my friends, I'm afraid I must leave you now. But I wish you all the best. And apparently from this old fart, that's the best I can do. <laughs> You all take care. Allons-y! Oh, uh, so, Billy, had enough fun this Halloween? <laughs> about that. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in the shed now and cry. Okay, you do that. Three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> well, we had to get you one more time. <laughs> I'll go get the crane. <laughs> uh, 